hello Marvel fans. The MCU with its plethora of heroes has continued to entertain us for as long as we can remember. With Tatyana Maslany bursting into the scene as She-Hulk, fans have been given the opportunity to see the franchise from multiple perspectives. Streaming on Disney+, Plus, She-Hulk Attorney at Law is one of the original shows of Marvel Studios, which navigates the complicated life of a single 30-something attorney who can also transform into a 6-foot-plus super-powered Hulk. Eight episodes of the series have already come out, and the finale is all set to release come Thursday. Here's a tiny recap of what's been going on in the show off late and prepare ourselves for what is to come. Episode 8 delivered what fans were thrilled to see. The return of the Daredevil, aka Matt Murdock. The episode is thrilling as Jen and Matt face off against each other in the courtroom as Leapfrog, Jen's client, sues the superhero suit designer Luke Jacobson for a faulty suit. The duo also engage in a real fight scene that showcases the best of the character's abilities, where the Daredevil's identity is revealed to Jen when she uses the classic Hulk thunderclap to neutralize him. Jen then learns the truth from Matt that her client had kidnapped Jacobson and the duo team up to rescue him. Jen finds herself attracted to Matt in this rescue mission, and they build a really strong romantic connection. The next day, Jen attends an awards gala, where her moment of glory was ruined by the intelligentsia, who do a pretty horrifying expose of her entire personal life and intimate moments. This causes her to hulk out, and she tears the gala apart, before discovering a suspicious presence in the crowd who she chases after, only to find herself surrounded by agents from damage control. The episode ends in a real cliffhanger, leaving fans excitedly waiting for the finale. And here's what we think might happen. There is clearly an absence of an established foe, as the series has altered between opponents like Titania and Abomination. With every episode in the series introducing us to new characters, there is speculation that the final episode could feature the leader, who is the mastermind behind the sinister forum Intelligentia. As we know that the Intelligentia are after Jen's blood, we definitely expect to see a showdown between her and the organization. Interestingly, in episode 8, Jennifer Walters mentions a Red Hulk in an aside to the audience. Whether the finale would feature Red Hulk as the villain, or if Jen turns Red out of maximum rage, is something we are yet to see. One thing that we fans are dying to see is Jen Hulk smash Josh for betraying her by stealing her personal data and possibly her blood sample. One can never predict what Marvel Studios are up to. However, fans can expect the final episode of She-Hulk to be packed with drama, action, and maybe even a couple of twists and turns. The grand finale could probably do more than just revealing the villain and giving Jen her justice. It could pave the way for her to become an integral part of the MCU. This video was sponsored by NTD, an independent global news organization. To view NTD news, please visit the link in the description below. Tell us what your theories are for the finale and how this show has fared compared to everything that Marvel is coming out with these days. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe for more.